So, what would you call this trick? A lot of people call this a primo slide, but it's actually different. It is a coconut wheelie. And in this video, I'm going to explain what the difference is between a primo slide and a coconut wheelie and how to do a coconut wheelie. First off, a primo slide is a sliding rail stand. And I have this old clip of me doing one as an example. And for this, you really need a slick surface or a rolling surface. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about a coconut wheelie, which is a different trick where it looks like you're doing a sliding rail stand, but you're actually balancing on your wheels, on the edge of your wheels and riding your board on the edge of your wheels without the rail of your board sliding on the ground. In order to do these, your setup is really important. Starting with your wheels, for your wheels, I recommend getting offset wheels, which have an offset bearing seat, which means that the bearing, where it sits in the wheel, is offset to one side. That way the wheel sticks out past the edge of the axle on your board, so it prevents your axle from scraping against the ground. In a primo slide, it's actually helpful to have your axle sticking out because it slides better than the wheel. With the wheels, I also recommend getting a wheel that has a rounded edge. This is a little bit more forgiving and it helps balance. It helps me balance in a coconut wheelie better than a more square lipped wheel. The other key aspect of the board is the truck width or the width from one edge of the wheel to the other edge of the wheel. It's helpful to have this length about the same as the length of your board for maximum stability. Lastly, the tidier your trucks are, the more stable you will be while you're riding on the board. If your trucks are loose and wobbly, you're more likely to wobble in a coconut wheelie. So a lot of freestylers that, that do this usually have really tight trucks. I keep my trucks more on the medium side. They're not as loose as some people's trucks are, but they're definitely not as tight as a lot of freestylers are. I can still carve, but they don't wobble when they're just hanging in the air. The main trick you'll want to be able to do before trying coconut wheelies is rail stands and have those really smooth and really controlled. For the actual trick, I recommend starting slow with just a little bit of speed and adjusting your feet into a normal rail stand setup position. And as you're rolling, start to get yourself into a rail stand, but catch the board with your back foot just before the rail of your board hits the ground. As you're doing that, keep most of your weight on your back foot and try to balance and hold the coconut wheelie as long as you can and then tip the board back forward when you're done just like you would for a rail stand. That sounds a lot easier <laughs> than it is to actually do though. I know this because I've been working on this trick consistently for over a year and trying it inconsistently for more than that, for longer than that. So. There are some, I have some tips that I can share with you that will hopefully help you get this faster than it took me to get it. But the main thing really is practice and putting in consistent practice every time you skate working on this trick and that will help you progress and slowly start to get your balance in a coconut wheelie. So when you're doing this, one thing that might happen is you are getting into the coconut wheelie, but your rail hits the ground and it turns into a primo slide, but you don't slide and you fall forward. Aside from just getting the control and figuring out how to control your board so that you can catch it with your back foot before the rail hits, this also might be happening if you have too much weight on your front foot. That would 
make your board kind of go off to the side a little bit or tip in one direction and you can catch an edge that way. Same thing if you're falling uh, or tipping down earlier, if you kind of pop up and come right back down. With more practice, this will help. And also getting the right wheels and board set up. You can try to coconut wheelie on street wheels, and I think there are some people that can do it with wide enough wheels, but I've tried it and I definitely can't with my old traditional street wheels. It, I just would catch the, the, the wiggle room you have, the allowance you have to balance is so much smaller and it's already tough to balance to begin with. So get some offset wheels to start because that will really help you out, I think. Another issue you might run into is your board starts to slide backwards, like heel slide on you. And this could be happening if your shoulders are too far toe side. This is something I've also struggled with a little bit. I tend to dip forward with my shoulders and get more toe side. And the key thing is gonna to be to remember to keep your shoulders and back straight when you're doing this trick and try not to hunch over. Playing around with foot positioning also helped me. This is the foot positioning I normally use, but I don't wanna say this is the foot positioning you have to use because we both have different bodies, we have different boards, and what works for me may not work for you. So I encourage you to try different foot positions and different foot angles to see how you get the most control and what helps you lock into that wheelie as easily and consistently as possible. The goal at first with this trick is to do them slow and controlled. Don't try and do it as fast as you can take it slow and really work on your control and then start to pick it up and take the, the wheelies longer with more speed. If I can do this, you can definitely do this. Just keep practicing and don't give up. It may not feel like you get any results for a while at first, but if you keep practicing Keep working on it, keep playing around with your feet positioning and keeping your weight on your back foot. You will start to lock in. You will start to be able to take these a little bit further as you do them more. I also recommend that you check out other tutorials as well. Now knowing, maybe if you didn't know already, that these are called coconut wheelies and see if those other tutorials help you with some other tips that I maybe didn't share here. One last thing, I now have stickers. So if you would like to support open source skateboards by getting some stickers, you can get those on the open source boards website. The shop there has the stickers. And this is just one of the ways you can support this. At the very least, if this video has helped you, if you enjoy it, please like and subscribe. Any support you can provide is always really appreciated. Thank you guys for watching and let me know, let us know if you have any tips of your own for coconut wheelies in the comments below. That might help out some other skaters that are trying to learn this fun trick. And yeah, it is probably one of the coolest feeling things on a board. Like, this is one of my new favorite tricks. So, enjoy learning coconut wheelies.
So if you want the best of both worlds, regular wheels on one side, offset wheels on the other. The end.